Hello everyone. Today we will discuss John Locke biography and his works in detail. So let's dissect this topic in complete depth. Let's start with biography of John Locke. John Locke was born in England. He studied medicine from Oxford University and started practicing there. During his practice, he became friend with one of his patients, Lord Ashley Cooper that had impact on law. In result, he started writing on politics. Okay, now let's discuss the works of John Locke. One John Locke's first works were written at Oxford, namely two tracts on government in 1662-1662. Two essays on law of nature in 1664. In above writings he argued against the religious toleration and denied consent as basis of legitimate government three letters concerning toleration and some thought concerning education writing of lock four fragments on government two treatises of government famous book of j lock why he gave theory one relative peace in england two influenced by renaissance and rationality Three presence of power struggle. Four theory of John Locke. A limited government. A state of nature. Locke begins his theory by explaining the state of nature in order to explain origin of political power. According to him, state of nature was of perfect equality and freedom regulated by laws of nature. One human nature. According to Locke, individual by nature is good. social sympathetic and honest to locksin state of nature in locksin state of nature individual is naturally free from any superior power and he was subject to laws of nature individual has natural right to live liberty and property men is capable of living in moral order and led a life of mutual assistance goodwill and preservation three law of nature according to locke Law of nature defines what is right and what is wrong. If violation occurs, the execution of penalty is put into every man's hands, whereby everyone has right to punish the transgressors of law. There was no organized government. Law and law of state of nature is deficient in three important points. First, it is not clear. Second, no third party judge and third the injured party is not always strong enough to execute just sentence william ebastian fourth three remedies to state of nature three remedies offered by lock to state of nature would seem to be establishment of legislative supreme power of commonwealth judiciary in session well executive federative makes treaties countries external relation A characteristics of lock and state. One, it exists for people who form it. End of government is good of community. Lock and state is machine which we create for our good and run for our purposes. All true states must be founded on consent. Three, true state must be constitutional state in which men acknowledge rule of law. Four, it is limited, not absolute. Five, state should exist for good of people. Six, it is transformer state, transforming selfish interest into public good. Every fundamental right is natural right, but not every natural right is fundamental right. B. Limitations of government. Locke advocated limited sovereign state, litical absolutism. Experience taught him that was untenable. It has to be based on consent of people. Limited government of Locke cannot. command anything against public interest a abolishing legal sovereignty lock abolished the concept of legal sovereignty in favor of popular sovereignty his limited government cannot command that is against public its laws conform to laws of nature and god government that violates its laws is not worthy of obedience to democratic principle according to lock legislature is to be elected by people periodically direct election of representation to legislature makes consent a reality elected representatives depend on 
पॉपुलर सपोर्ट फॉर देर टेन योर इन ऑफिस दे मस्ट स्टे इन लीगल बाउंड तीन लिमिटिंग ड्यूरेशन ऑफ लेजिस्लेटिव सेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू लॉक लेस फ्रीक्वेंट मीटिंग ऑफ लेजिस्लेचर द फ्यूअर द लॉज पास द लेस चांस ऑफ द मिसचिफ टू बी डन फॉर लिमिटिंग पावर ऑफ गवर्नमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू लॉक लिमिटिंग द पावर ऑफ गवर्नमेंट इज सेपरेशन ऑफ पावर्स इट मे बी टू ग्रेट टेम्पटेशन टू ह्यूमन फ्रैलिटी एप्ट टू ग्रास बट पावर फॉर सेम पर्सन हु हैव पावर ऑफ मेकिंग लॉज टू हैव ऑल्सो इन देर देर बाई मेक्स इट हिज प्रॉपर्टी कॉन्सिक्वेंटली गवर्नमेंट हैज नो अदर एंड रादर दैन टू प्रिजर्व पीपल्स लाइव लिबर्टीज एंड स्टेट्स एक सोशल कैरेक्टर ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी It was social character of property that enabled Locke to defend minimal state with limited government and individual rights. Locke claims that legitimate function of government is preservation of property means and ensure the rights of unlimited accumulation of private property. Locke in theory of property was later used in defense of capitalism, but in hands of pre-Marxian socialists it became powerful weapon of attacking capitalism. William Abenstein D Theory of Civil Society According to Locke what drives men into society is that god put them under strong obligations of necessity convenience and indignation for all practical purposes problem is to form civil society by common consent and after its formation this common consent becomes consent of majority so All men agree to incorporate themselves in one body. Next step is to appoint government to declare and execute natural law. Thus, Locke calls supreme authority established by civil society. It was to protect and preserve freedom. A. Contracts. He made two contracts. First contract a state was created. Second contract no government was created. 